Today is August 15th, 2013. You're watching Speedrun. As promised, we have that hands-on look at Call of Duty Ghosts multiplayer. Players will find themselves in a new world, but in an entirely familiar experience. Those next-gen graphics can be a little distracting, as there's now more on-screen information to process while you play. Call of Duty, rah rah, you can play as a dog. Can I play as a pack of dogs? I'd love to play as a pack of dogs. If I can make every single one of my squad mates a dog, there you go. Map terrains can be altered by battle events and new modes and challenges like cranked and field orders heighten the level of excitement. Forget Call of Duty Ghost, make Call of Duty Homeward Bound. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Corgi DLC? More on perks, kill streaks, and how all of that fits into one neat little package in our detailed preview. If you owned an Atari 2600, chances are you've played Missile Command. If you're its creator, you're still living it. Dave Thurer, who headed the project at Atari, is still haunted by dreams of missiles and deadly explosions to this day, more than 30 years after it was made. Oh my god, it's so fascinating. The guy who made Missile Command is continuously haunted by the game's development and by vivid dreams of missiles destroying his city and destroying him and destroying, it's like, it's like, it's like PT his PTSD because of this game. Read on to learn how he strove to make a missile game that didn't make players feel like a genocidal maniac and the nightmares that followed. It's so fascinating, because like I'm reading the story, it's like, yep, I, I'll just have dreams about missiles crashing into San Francisco. A fascinating but kind of brutal story. I admire you, Dave. We spent some time with the Fulbright Company's Gone Home, an exploratory adventure with a deep emotional story. Players control Katie, a girl who comes home from a year of travel to find her parents and sister have disappeared. I want to go home and play it. I have to pack and I have to do other shit. I have to go home. I want to go home and I want to go home and play Gone Home or something. It was bad. I do, though. My computer sucks. Players explore the house to figure out where the hell they all are, and through journal entries narrated by Katie's sister, careful exploration of the abandoned home, and a heavy dose of 1990s nostalgia, we found the experience truly hard to forget. Be sure to check out the site for our full review and see why we gave Gone Home a perfect 10. And on a more sobering note, harassment of game developers is becoming an increasingly big problem in our industry. We talked to a handful of developers and former industry personnel on the problem, and what we found is unsurprising but still horrific. So many developers are met with death threats and other vitriol for everything from tweaking the firing rate of guns to producing a game ending fans didn't like. We discussed with professionals why this behavior is so prevalent and what can be done to stop it, for the nastiness takes our entire industry down a dark, less friendly path. Developers have started support groups and some have even left the industry entirely. Seriously guys, this kind of behavior is unacceptable and if you were unaware it was a problem, we've laid it out for you. You guys can get all excited about Call of Duty's multiplayer, but I'm gonna play some Animal Crossing. I need to get some turnips. We're still doing that turnip training thing, right? Is that still a thing? Right? <laughs>